All right, you guys, what's up? Welcome back to another Borderlands 3 video, and today I'm re-recording this shit because my microphone was muted the first time, but that's okay. Today, if you couldn't tell by the sexy title, we're going to be doing a comparison video between the Hellwalker and the Garcia, uh, two of uh, the best shotguns in the game. You could argue that they are the best shotguns in the game, although the Reflex might want to have a conversation with you. But that's not he neither here nor there. So uh, let's just go ahead and jump into things, right? Uh, the Hellwalker got a, um, a, pr a, a big ass fucking buff. It was like 600% buff uh back in like i think it was uh august i know it was before dlc 4 came out so um and then recently you know last thursday the uh, garcia got its buff and uh the buff was pretty big uh damage wise and i think it was like 340 percent to 540 percent total damage buff uh which is pretty fucking disgusting if you ask me and uh, they didn't fix the way like it fired so for those y'all that played uh like you know a little further back Y'all know the Garcia used to be like a fully automatic shotgun or like a very high fire rate. Well, not, it's still stuck at that uh, that burst, but the damage is way higher now, which is uh, makes up for it. Honestly, dude, the, you're you're gonna be just one bursting a lot of enemies with this with the Garcia these days. So keep that in mind. Now, if you want to uh, farm for these weapons, uh, first things first, the Hellwalker you can farm. It's a world drop. You can farm anywhere. Or if you want to farm the dedicated drop, it's gonna be your boy Road Dog over on Pandora. Uh, so keep that in mind. Also, another thing to keep in mind when farming for the Hellwalker, the only true thing you're farming for is going to be the anointment because it has a fixed part uh which is very very convenient uh for farming uh for farming just overall you're not farming for parts you're not farming for a pellet count you're literally just farming for the anointment uh which can't be said but for the garcia the garcia uh unfortunately uh can get different uh parts obviously it can get a different uh pellet count and then it can also uh, get a different prefix, uh, which is important to note when farming for the Garcia. Also, another thing to uh, note when farming for the Garcia is that it only drops from Chomp Stomp over on Eden 6. Uh, so you can't just, you know, get lucky and like get from like a Slaughter Shaft or a Grave Ward or the Ruiner or something like that. You have to farm Chomp Stomp, which can be looked as a good thing or a bad thing, just depending on uh, the way you like to go about your farming business and stuff like that. But that is something important to note, so I figured that I would go ahead and mention it. So when we're talking damage, right, these weapons are very much so up there in the damage category. You have things like the Hellwalker, uh, which can very casually hit up to, oh, I mean, Jesus Christ, dude, you can easily get this thing hidden for, like, casual, like, 50 mil. Uh, keep in mind, guys, that all the gameplay you're seeing in the background is on the same build. Uh, double Capstone, Orange, and Green Tree. Uh, Cosmic Stalker with, I believe, 28% weapon crit, 40% shotgun damage, and then 58% Jacob's crit. I believe is uh is how we're going then we have i think two into end of player stalker and then three into big game uh so keep that in mind no, no builds are different uh the only thing that's different between the two weapons besides their stats is uh, the anointment i don't have a consecutive hits garcia at the moment so i just use a next two mags radiation uh but our hellwalker is 100 percent uh consecutive hits uh which is very very nice also guys keep in mind uh that uh most annoying annoyments that you're looking for on these weapons you rad consecutives are, I would say, my, are your top two. Maybe 390. Uh, although 390 shotguns can generally be a little finicky because, uh, you know, pellets. Uh, you, you don't want to get the 390 bonus on just one of your pellets. You want to get that on all your pellets, but just keep that in mind. Generally, you ride consecutive hits. If you are going to get next two mags, uh, the Garcia is the shotgun you want next two mags on for obvious reasons. The Hellwalker is a double barrel shotgun, so I literally you're going to shoot four shots and then your anointment's going to be rendered uh, worthless. Uh, but with the Garcia, you, you basically keep that anointment up for most of the time. Uh, the thing about that is that uh, you can cycle. We can cycle fade away relatively fast here, uh, so we basically could have that next two mags up at almost at all times. Versus with this one, you can sometimes run out of that anointment. Uh, just keep that in mind uh, whenever you're using these puppies. So, uh, mobbing, honestly, dude, I have found that I like the Garcia a tad bit more for mobbing. Uh, just in certain situations, I've found that a lot of enemies in this game, uh, they generally are, are shielded, and the Hellwalker, unfortunately, always, always comes in fire, uh, which can be seen as a good or bad thing, uh, just depending on what kind of build you're using. Me, personally, I like to, I like sometimes when I get somewhat diversity, uh, with, a, like, with at least, like, you know, the element, uh, that my weapon can drop with. Uh, the Garcia, obviously, can drop in Kinetic, I believe. I, I think, I think the Garcia... 
I think the Garcia could only drop in Kinetic, and uh, which is a good and bad thing. Kinetic has no necessarily weaknesses, uh, but you can't inflict uh, dots with... Uh, um, Jesus, can I talk? You can't inflict dots with kinetic damage like you can with uh, elements. Although your base damage on kinetic weapons is always going to be higher than your base damage on elemental weapons. Uh, just keep that in mind. So, for mobbing, you're going to have a lot of situations uh, with like the Garcia where you're literally just going to look at an enemy, bro, and you're just going to bang, bang, instantly kill him. Instantly, just like bang, bang, instantly kill him. Same thing kind of goes with the Hellwalker, just like bang, bang, instantly dead. Although I have found on some enemies that are armored. Uh, your Hellwalker will have to, you'll have to go through the ASC, uh, go through your, uh, your action skill first just so you can get your ASCs. That is one thing that's very important with, uh, shotguns is make sure, making sure that you do get your ASCs proc, uh, and having those extra elements up at, uh, at all times, especially on a weapon that's kinetic, uh, Jacob's weapons, hello. Uh, that's very important. So just keep that in mind, dude. You want to be able to cycle through your ASCs as much and, uh, as efficiently as possible. Uh, just make sure, just, just keep a note of that, you guys. It's very crucial uh, when farming uh, for these weapons that you uh, can get your ASCs cycling through them. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you're gonna get, you know, uh, and next two mags uh, on your on your shotgun. Just keep that in mind, dude. Now for bossing, right? Um, Hellwalker is a god. At, I mean, dude. Look, the first time I, ma I was making this video, guys, I was like, I mean, well. They're both good at this. They're both good at this. They're both good at that. They're both good at doing this. They're both good at not having me go down. They're both good at picking me up when I do go down. They're both good at destroying bosses. They're both good at destroying mobs. Like, dude, we are. I'm. I feel like I'm splitting hairs with this video, guys, just because. Like, it's there's these shotguns are just so fucking stacked. Like, y'all are seeing the gameplay. Honestly, bro, fuck it. I got my quarter right here. Here, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna flip my quarter, whichever, whatever heads, Hellwalker, tails, uh, Garcia, flip. Tails, boom. Fuck, what I said Tails was the Garcia? Tails, uh, Garcia's better, boom. End of video. I'm just kidding. No, but for real, no, guys, like, the, these weapons are so good, right? Like, I, you, you're not gonna go wrong with, like, picking one over the other. I would honestly argue that, like, one isn't, like, like, one is not overwhelmingly better than the other. I would say, like, one, like, in tiers, these two are in the same top tier as each other. In, in that tier, they're in the highest part of that tier. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's an S tier for shotguns. You know what I'm saying? They're in those tiers. And I would probably only put the reflux in that tier as well. Maybe the face puncher. But, I mean, they're just all good. Like, they're both super, super fucking just stacked. Uh, I, I, you really can't say which one is better. They're, you could honestly just say they're both good, which is healthy because it doesn't, it leads to less, like, pollution or of the same weapon in the same builds for everybody i know a lot of people get tired of that me personally I, tr I feel that as well i try not to use the same exact weapons in every single build because that does kind of get stale after a while uh but like if you're gonna use shotguns guys uh let's be real jacobs knows how to make the shotguns hellwalker garcia they both slap they both shred they both put in mad uh, amount of work and you're not going to be disappointed with any of them uh so just keep that in mind Obviously, I would highly recommend uh, a pearl for your artifact for these shotguns because shotguns and pearls go really, really good with each other. And I would 100% uh, like get radiation and cryo ASCs. Uh, that's definitely the main way to go, uh, for sure, uh, with shotguns. Just having those ASCs is just always going to be so damn useful, dude. You can never go wrong with that. And uh, yeah, if I have to pick a shotgun that I like more over the other. I would probably, uh, fuck, dude. I'm putting myself on the spot right now. What shotgun do I like more than the other? Honestly, I would say right now, I probably like the Garcia a little bit more, just because whenever I was running through the showcase and the Malawan takedown uh, only video with the Garcia, I was just having so much fun. Like, I was just having so much fun. I mean, I, our, our Garcia is really good. It's not even a consecutive, and it was just completely shredding. Uh, I was just having so much fun just, like, looking at enemies, just, like, tap, tap, death. Tap, tap, death. Tap, tap, death. Tap, tap, death. 
it, it's just, it, dude, I was just having so much fun. Like I said, guys, I always, the, the, the way you have fun in the game like Borderlands is when you're just dicking on everything in the game and, like, nothing can even stand up to you. Like, yo, I'm God in this bitch, and they just, you just make all the enemies quiver in their boots. I will say the Garcia was making much better work of the, uh, the badass war dogs uh, than the Hellwalker was. Because the Hellwalker is com only comes in fire, go, uh, going up against a badass enemy that has both armor and shields was a little bit annoying. I found that with the Garcia, I, I was still just like looking at him like, yo, two tap, you're dead. Uh, so keep that in mind. Now, obviously, guys, that, that's just, I'm not shitting on the Hellwalker with that statement. I'm just saying like, yo, uh, I, I kind of found the Garcia was better in this situation. Uh, now, do keep in mind the, uh, the Hellwalker is better at killing any flesh enemies just because it always comes in fire. Uh, so keep that stuff in mind. Uh, but I guess one more thing that we'll go over, guys, is that no matter what build you're running this on, get as many ASCs as possible. Uh, if you can get, uh, I would honestly say the consecutive hits is always going to be the best anointment for shotguns. That's just my personal opinion. I love me some consecutives, man. What can I say? I'm addicted to consecutives, bro. I just love consecutives. Uh, next two mags is going to be much better on the Garcia than the Hellwalker. Uh, so do keep that in mind. If you get next two mags on the Hellwalker, it will, it's not the best anointment. It's still good, but it's not the best. And then for the Garcia, obviously, next two mags is good. Consecutives, you read. It may be even 390. 390, it can be a little sus with shotguns just because they're pellets. But they can still be pretty good. Uh, anyways, guys, I think we're just going to about go ahead and wrap up the video there. I I really couldn't go so much into detail between these two weapons because they are so similar and they are so good. And they're just like almost mere rivals of each other. They're so similar. They both fire. They have both like they have relatively the same fire rate because like they both shoot a uh, burst of two and then you got to take a pause. You, one you got to reload, one you got to wait for the burst. And they both have really high damage. They both can melt bosses. They can both destroy mobs, and they're both overall really really good shotguns. You can't go wrong with either of them, honestly. I I cannot stress this enough. You cannot go wrong with either of these shotguns. They're both stacked and they're both fucking studs. Uh, but yeah. Guys, that is going to just about wrap up the video. Hope y'all did enjoy the video. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to drop your load on that like button. Subscribe if y'all are new. We do post daily content on the channel, so that's something up your alley. Uh, subscription is greatly appreciated. Anyways, guys, thank y'all so much for watching. My name's Cree, and we'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.